Hey, this is Keith Krantz, founder of Dominate Web Media and creator of Facebook Ads University and the Facebook Ads Blueprint. And I'm super excited because I just got back from Ryan Dice, Frank Kern, Perry Belcher's Digital Marketers Traffic and Conversion Conference and uh, with some of the best marketers in the world. And what I'm really excited about is because they predicted that the biggest impact of 2014 will be native advertising. Okay, native advertising. And what native advertising is basically is things like Facebook newsfeed ads, Twitter sponsored tweets, you know, LinkedIn paid ads, Pinterest, those types of things where we're basically getting our message in the social aspect where it actually looks like regular content, but you can bring somebody to your sales offer. Um, there's other things like stories on news sites that looks like a story or a link to another news story, but it's actually a link that takes people to a an offer or a blog post that, that's a story that you want somebody to read through that. And there's some really cool strategies they talked about that I've been teaching for a while now, for about a year or two. Uh, one of my strategies where I talk about, you know, driving traffic to blog posts from Facebook. So using Facebook to reach your target audience and then bring that targeted traffic to your blog, but have really good systems in place like retargeting, good strong calls to actions, you know, the hello bar at the top of your site, those types of things. And then of course, retargeting in place. But I'm really excited because they really talked about that and we've been teaching that for a while now. And so what I want to talk to you about right now real quick is how to use the 80-20 principle, you know, Pareto's law when it comes to running your, you know, your Facebook campaigns. So what I like to teach people now is set them up using the 80-20 principle. So what I mean by that in this specific scenario is maybe you're spending 80% of your budget driving traffic to a, a landing page or a squeeze page or a webinar registration page or a free software demo or something like that, right? You know, or, or a coupon download, something that's your kind of core offer. And when they opt in, they get into your sales funnel and they, and they go right into your sales process. What I want you to do is I want you to spend, maybe you're spending 80% of your budget and your time working on those campaigns, but then I want you to spend your other 20% of your time promoting your content, okay? Promoting the content on your blog. So you're getting all the impressions from all your posts on your page. You can do a most recent post campaign, okay? Spend that other 20% driving traffic from Facebook to your blog. So you're, you know, you're putting your link, your blog post into your Facebook page and then you're setting up some, you know, low budget Facebook ads bringing traffic to that blog post. And then you've got good systems in place to bring them back into your sales funnel when they're ready. So you're basically, you're warming people up, okay? You're really using Facebook to build your brand, but then you've got good systems in place to move them through your sales funnel, okay? So maybe you're getting ready for a big product launch or big promotion, you know, a month away. So maybe that 80-20 is swapped around. Maybe you're spending 70 to 80% of your budget on promoting your content, your blog posts, your all your free content where people don't have to opt in to get to it, okay? It's just building goodwill, you're building a lot of goodwill. And then maybe the other 20 or 30% is generating leads. So it doesn't always have to be like 80% lead generation, 20% content. You can you can flip it around. Just when you're doing thing, when you're running your campaigns, always be doing all three. So you're you're promoting your high value content, you're driving traffic to lead generation pages and sales you know, processes, and you're also committing a little small percentage of your budget to all the content, so all the posts on your page. Maybe it's just an image, or maybe it's just a post that you're talking about, you know, inspiring people or, or sharing something. It doesn't have to be always bringing people back to your website, but you're, you're promoting that stuff, so you're getting everybody, all your existing fans to see it, but more than that, you can promote this stuff to your existing, tar your ideal, target audience, not just your fans. So you're building new fans with this, with these types of, you know, the other 20, 30%. You're building new fans, you're building your email list, but then you're also generating leads and bringing people into your sales funnel. So use the 80-20 principle in your Facebook marketing. And if you want more training on Facebook ads and how to use Facebook in your business, click the button on this page, There's somewhere on this page, probably below the video to the right, somewhere that you can actually get a lot more, you know, more advanced training from me. So check it out and I'll talk to you soon.